But had the same, then if we have a problem, we have a solution. The point number five, okay, is saying diving is a social activity. Principle of procedure and discipline. You follow the rules and work the procedures without expectation on every dive. No matter how familiar the dive and no matter how much experience you have, cutting the corner, cutting the corners kills. So we're about to do our second dive for the self-reliant chorus and there's been a lot of theory, a lot of math, a lot of calculations, what goes into the dives, the depths, the pressure, no decompression, limit. So we gotta calculate all of those things, put it to practice as well. We'll be swimming without mask, we'll be navigating with compass, so we're gonna be removing a mask, putting a new one on with just one arm as well having everything attached to us. Extra tank for extra safety. If one goes wrong, we can switch to the another with a practice and uh, confident we can do it in uh, such a situation. So uh, here we go, do some uh, training. This is Walter, by the way. He's, he's a paddy course director. He's also a tack diver when we were doing the Monad show the other day. He goes alone, 50 meters high-end stuff. Upon looking at him, he looks like an uh, astronaut. <laughs> He's an astronaut. <laughs> you just see him, guys. One, two, three, four tanks, and it's, it's really amazing what he does. By the way, we got two other people with us today, so people are coming to the island. You know, it's open, guys. You gotta come to Malapasqua in this situation, because how many times are you gonna enjoy it almost by yourself? Yeah. Now the main reason I did the self-reliant course is because I know there's going to be situations in the future where I'll be the only one able to dive or scuba. I want to get that certification and hence my knowledge about underwater diving. And I must say, this course was definitely the most technical I've done so far. Unfortunately, we can't show you the, all the methods and training we did on this dive because Walter has to be there for me and make sure that I do everything correctly. However, we got a couple of shots just preparing the dives, getting some shots of the beautiful creatures around Malapascua. And once again, we gotta be careful with the buoyancy. Here you can see me very buoyant, not touching anything, making sure that I'm just above the ground trying to film some small nudie branks.
So Finn while diving, we are here in this island and someone is so excited to go. Just wait, oi! It's so beautiful, look at this one. So we finished the dives and we noticed on the way to the dive site earlier there was a huge fishing net and uh, we want to see what the locals are catching. Uh, tuna? Tuna? I think the uh, fishing net is gone now. Maybe, maybe they finished it. Ah, uh, we're too late. They already brought the harvest in. Careful, Jake. That is super classy, perfect conditions. That was amazing. I learned a lot in the last two days. They're fishing. Look at that, guys. Fishing. Local boys fishing. They're throwing something out there and then they're pulling it in. So we have a funny story. Two nights ago, we're talking to the owners of a dive shop over there. And I've learned that there were tiger sharks here before in Monat. And the guy had said he's not seen one for 17 years. And that was just stories and rumors. And he didn't believe it. And little do we know. The next morning, about 12 hours later, when we had the argument with him that there were tiger sharks there before, he sees one. <laughs> he managed to grab a photo and a short clip with this GoPro for about a 10 seconds. And I saw it earlier with him and he showed me the video. And uh, there you go. Argument the night before, there's no tiger shark. And then the day after, for the first time in 17 years, he sees a tiger. Hello. Hello guys. You catch fish? Yeah. You have no catch. Where's the fish? Where's the Ista? Where is that? Not yet. Soon. Okay, let's see how you catch. One, two. Nice throw, man. Shelly, let's go. The, the rain is coming. Ulan. Ulan is coming. Ulan is coming. Yeah. <laughs> look, at, look behind you. It's so blue. <laughs> it's so blue. Hello. Do you have uh, ice cream? Ice cream there. Ice cream there. Thank you. There are ice cream more? The next time. Yay, bingo. Jackpot. Oh, nice. Perfect. I'm gonna show you guys a secret to a uh, low body fat diet. Nacho, Pringles, and my autumn favorite, the cheese. Picatos. Piatos. Piatos. Picatos. Oh, and by the way, guys, uh, if you're coming to any place in Cebu now that's just recently open, make sure you check the expiry date. Uh, we got sold the other night at a restaurant, expired Coke. Yeah, so. It's <laughs> empty. <laughs> it's true. So just check the expiry dates if you can. Remember this dog? That's Sharky and who else? Huh? Yeah, we just taught them how to do a high five yesterday. Very nice dogs. Bye bye. We're flying the drone here and we've got some pretty cool weather. We got this sunset over there. Beautiful sky, a little bit of clouds, but if you look over there, we got a massive rainstorm. Right. Look at that, Shirley. Oopsie. 
Look at those colors. Yellow, blue. Try the best for what it's worth. So fire away.